Hello and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In today's series we're going to learn how to take a page that has text on it with a link in that text and also has a nav bar across the top and separate with a style sheet the difference so that your menu links have their own class versus your body links which will have their own class as well. So to start off with all we need to do is go ahead and grab our, um, our, our put our page content in. So I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to put our body tag. And then I'll close the body tag as well. And in here we're just going to put a sentence that says this is our anchor text link. Please check it out. Right? And then on our anchor text we're going to put an href equals page.html anchor text link and then finish our a tag there now right now this link is going to be our default blue color like the normal internet would be so let's go ahead and put our html tag in here and then we'll end our html tag here at the bottom And I keep putting that question mark, and I don't know why. And now we're going to put our heading tag. Close that out. And now in our body section, we'll just go ahead and put our menu items. And all I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to copy this and paste this once, put a space, twice, put a space, three times. And it's going to go to page one, page two, and page three. I'm going to change this text to menu item 1 and then I'll copy that menu item 2 and last but not least menu item 3 now again these will still be our default blue text so how do we separate these well it's very simple to do this all we need to do is create a div class equals and then put nav bar and end our div class and then at the bottom we'll finish out the uh, div like so and that's it that's all we have to do now if we want to do a separate one for our page content we can do the same thing by putting div class and then page content etc but we're just gonna focus on the main one and then leave this one default so it doesn't change now once that's done it's time to start our style sheet so before I do that, I'm going to put title up here and put nav bar demo page, close out the title, and now it's time for our style sheet. So I'm going to type in style, and then I'll close that out. And that's, this, this is going to have to have a little bit more information in it, which we'll do now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in type equals text slash CSS space media equals screen and after we've done that it's time to start developing our code so the first thing we need to do is we need to create the class which is with a period and then put nav bar put a space a colon link for our a href code and then I'm also gonna put um, a visited and a active and after I've done that I will go ahead and put a space put the first bracket and then put a space and put the ending bracket down here and I'm going to come back up here actually I can just put this bracket right there I'm gonna put color and I already know that the color I want is going to be number sign E C F B F B semicolon space font family and I know that I want Arial semicolon I know that I want the font weight because I want it to be bold so I'm gonna put bold like so and now since this is going to be a menu item I also want to put a background color on it so I'm going to put background dash color colon 
three 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 and after I have my three 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 I'll end that with a semicolon there and then I'll put um, uh, margins and I want margin right to be 15 pixels colon and then margin left to be 15 pixels as well so it's even on both sides and then padding would be 2 pixels 10 pixels semicolon and then my ending bracket now I'm going to copy this and right below that paste it and I'm going to get rid of where it says all the way from a link to a active and just put hover now what am I going to do with that you might ask well I'm going to simply change the colors of the hover of course so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this color to 81C620 and I'm going to change the background color or actually I'm going to leave the background color the same all I want to do is for the, ch uh, the text color to change and now that I have that we should be good to go so with that, I'm going to go ahead and save this as um, test it out. And I'm going to go to all files, and I'm going to change this to .html. And now we're going to load it up. So I'm going to go to Internet Explorer here. And let me just make sure it fits in the screen here for you guys. Go to File and Open. Browse. Go to the Desktop. Test it out. Hit OK. And as you can see here, now we have our normal text and our menu items. And we now have them specified just the way we want. So this lesson is how to create your own menu items um, with CSS and also how to separate them into their own class. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and we'll see you soon.